Now let's see how we would be able to improve on top of rolling updates using Canary deployments. So it starts in the same way as almost anything else. We have the first release, it has multiple replicas of a deployment or a stateful set. It has a service that allows access to that application and ingress that allows external access to that application. And then we would deploy a new release in parallel with the old one. So it would be APPA version 1 and version 2. Now in this diagram you see that both of them are having the same number of replicas, but in reality, and we are going to explore, explore that later, they, the number of replicas would vary depending on some criteria. We'll get there. And we're going to call the first release primary and the second release canary. And then what do we do? We start, not start, but continue sending 100% all the requests to the primary. And when the process starts, when the canary is fully up and running, we would change the percentage of requests. And for example, and that can differ from one case to another, we can start redirecting 20% of the requests of the traffic to canary release, to the new release, and 80% to the primary. And then we con continue iterating in that manner. 40% to canary, 60% to primary, and then 60% to canary and 40% to primary. And then at one moment, we might say that is enough. We don't need to continue iterating until we reach 100% of the traffic being sent to the canary release. We can say, okay, 60% is enough. Now let us upgrade the primary release to the new version. And at that moment, no matter the percentage going to one to primary or canary release, both of them would have the same version of the software. And once both of them are running the same version, we can say, and now is the time to go back from traffic perspective to the initial state and start redirecting 100% of the traffic to the primary release, which is now running a new version of our software. And once that is done, and there are no more pending requests going to the canary release, we can completely destroy, remove all the replicas of the canary release, because at that moment, 100% of the requests are going to the primary release, which happens to be running new version of our software. Now, it is, much, it is more complex than that. There are quite a few things missing from this story. For example, we are missing metrics or tests. We need to have a process or a method that the system could use to decide whether to continue increasing the traffic going to the canary or to go back to the 100% of traffic going to the primary and the old version of the software, depending on whether we are successful or not. So we are missing some form of validation and we are missing a few things. We are probably missing auto scaling of those replicas so that we are not duplicating the whole system, but rather increasing and decreasing the number of replicas based on the percentage of the traffic. And there are probably quite a few other things we are missing, but for now, this is a very high level overview of how canary deployments work in a very general sense of the process. We're going to go into details later. For now, this should be enough. And we can summarize what we need by saying that canary release runs new version of our software in parallel with the primary release, which is running the older version of our software. We need to figure out a way to control the flow of the traffic, you know, that increase of the percentage of traffic going to one release or the other. We need to figure out how to store and retrieve metrics that we can use to decide whether to continue going forward or to roll back. And we need to automate all that. There are probably other points we're missing, but that's a high level overview of the canary process and what we need to accomplish in the rest of this session.